And just like that, we're back again. Uncle Bull Cow in the building. What do I got here? That's right. 1,200 freaking videos, and you guys have never seen me review this. It should have been done a long time ago. But you know what? I'm glad it's being done. That's all I got to say. So I'm going to tell you the story behind my relationship with Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper salsa. I'm going to be eating it on some of these nice late July hint of lime chips. And I have a red Savina habanero here, so let me get let me get to get to going on this. I'm gonna pour some salsa right there in this little container. Look at this. This is the the chip and dip, the chip and dip uh, device of the day. All right, guys. So check this out. This is so cool that I was able to get my hands on this today because you're never gonna believe where I got it. I got it local. I got it from a Walmart neighborhood market. Those are. A grocery store, a Walmart grocery store, okay, and I have not seen this in seven years, I think it's been seven years, in any stores around here, period. Now, let's get into it. Let's see if it still lights me up like it did back then. I know I could have ordered it offline, but, uh, off the internet, but online, should I say, but I, uh, I always forget. Mm. Rich, almost smoky, but not quite smoky, but just that good pepper flavor. And it's got a nice kick to it. It's hot. Now, it's not melt your face off hot, but it's hot. Wow. That is so awesome. So let me uh, explain, as we say in New York, let me explain something to you. Mm. Back when we first moved into this condo, 2016, 2017, uh, One day we went shopping, and they had this at uh, Aldi's, and I bought one, and I brought it home, and I tried it, and I fell in love. I told my wife, I said, try this, and she did, and she said, that's hot. Now, you guys know it's almost impossible to burn my wife. It's very hard. Um, last year, she did a tuba terror, didn't break a sweat, did the death nuts three, didn't break a sweat. But anyways, she recognized the heat in it. I was very surprised. I was very surprised. And uh, and I had ha I had one of the other, or two of the other Mrs. Renfro sauces before, so I knew it was quality. I knew it was awesome. So now, boom, check it out. And I knew in all these, it was in that section where they have stuff that's name brand. It's not their stuff. Sometimes there'll be some of their stuff mixed in, but it's name brand stuff, but it's it's on sale. And I know if I don't get it, they won't have it again. So I went back and I bought a whole flat of these. And I don't remember if it was six or eight, but I just grabbed whatever, the whole case. I said, that's for Uncle Bullcow. Took it and um, and we ate it for a while, right? I don't remember how long it lasts. Um, yeah, the ghost pepper it used to be the world's hottest pepper. So was this at one point in time. I kind of wish it just stayed at the ghost pepper, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> but anyways, so, <coughs> when it was gone, um, I wasn't too worried about it. I knew I wouldn't be able to get it for that price, you know, because uh, the local grocery stores had it. Harris Teeter, I believe it was Harris Teeter. I'm 90% sure, but they had it, okay? And... Now, boom, I run out, okay, Aldi's didn't have any more, and I'll be honest with you, up until 2021, I would not order anything shipped that came in glass, even hot sauce, you can ask my wife, first bottle of hot sauce I ever had got shipped to me wasn't until 2021, okay, um, and now, you know, I know better, <laughs> but anyways, I go into, 
I'm 90% sure it's Harris Teeter. Whatever grocery store it was, it was either Harris Teeter, Food Lion. I'm pretty sure it was Harris Teeter. I don't think it was Lowe's Foods. But I went in there, and now they don't have it no more. So I'm like, oh, man, I figured they just ran out of it. Now, I could be wrong, but I believe even the, the spot where it was was still there. Maybe it was just empty, and they hadn't took the sticker off or whatever. So I go back again. I really want this stuff. This stuff's amazing. And they don't have it. So I asked uh, one of the managers, I said, hey, where is the Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper salsa? And he said, uh, they're not getting it anymore. Now, I don't know if they, if it, if it was a dis distribution issue. Now, they still have, to this day, all the other ones, the habanero and everything else, the roasted, I think it's the mango. They got all the other ones. They don't have this. And, uh, but he said that uh, he, e either way, whether he believed or whether it was a possible reason was that it was too hot. But what he did tell me was that he had people come in there, and one lady in particular came into the store. She had bought this. She came into the store. She went to customer service, gave them the jar, and said, I want my money back. This is too hot. And so uh, we've seen that happen before. That's happened. you know, And it happens quite often. And it's like me... I would have a conversation with these people. <laughs> I would try to fight them on this a little bit. Um, maybe I'd give them their money back or store credit and be like, listen, don't ever do this again. But I would say, hey, ma'am, do you see it says ghost pepper there? I would at least ask that question. Okay. And if they said, yeah, then I would have, I would have, I have a conversation with them. Um, and what the problem is, and this is why I'm glad this is happening. Uh, tomorrow's National Hot Sauce Day. Tonight at midnight. The Hulu Super Hot Series drops. You might see me in it. I got filmed. I don't know if I made the cut. I don't care. My friends are all in it. It's great. Um, that is going to bring some more. That is going to bring some more attention to the Chili community. And uh, people will run across us maybe a little bit easier. Know about us. Know we exist. I don't know. But I think it'll help. It'll help bridge the gap to the mainstream a little bit more. Um the problem is that people have gone out and they've bought stuff over the years that says Reaper, commercial stuff, or Ghost, right? They buy it. It doesn't burn them at all. It has no heat. So then when they get something that's really got it in it, they complain. They turn into a Karen and they say, I want my money back. I want to talk to your manager. At that point, I'd say, ma'am, why did you buy it? Did you know it said ghost pepper? Yeah. Okay. Then why'd you buy it? And they say, oh, I bought stuff before that said ghost pepper reaper. And it didn't burn me at all. It had no heat. At that point, I would tell them then, take that up with those companies that are deceiving the multitudes because there is such a small trace amount of those peppers in it that it's not hot. They just use it for marketing. Now, I respect Mrs. Renfro's for this actually having heat. It's hot. Pocky uh, ghost pepper chips. They got heat, okay? Besides that, all these other companies, Flamin' Hot This, That, and the Other Thing, Carolina Reaper, they're all lying to you. This is why you'll see. I'll try those products. I review stuff. Anything that claims to be hot or spicy. But I always put in the title. Will it burn? Just in case it doesn't, I have something extremely hot with me to put on it. Um, but it doesn't. It never does. So, I think that um, we need to call out uh, the, the big guys. You know? People want stuff with more heat. We exist. We're here. And to all you big corporations that are lying, putting Reaper, Scorpion, and Extreme Heat, Ghost Pepper, all of you corporations, we are here and we're not going nowhere. As they say in the South, 
either run with us or get runned over. That's right. So let's see, how, how does it gush her? Red Savino, Mrs. Renfro's ghost pepper. Oh, yeah, oh, it's all over me. It's hot. <laughs> really good but anyways tonight midnight eastern time hulu super hot the spicy world of pepper people um watch it and uh it's gonna be a good time it's gonna be a good time some of my best friends and some very good friends of mine are in this film um, um you might see me. I was in six, I think, scenes. Um, they might show two seconds of one scene. And I might look stupid. I might be like, ho, ho, ho. And I'll, I'll have the same look on my face when I watch myself. I'll look at myself and go, ho, ho, ho. That's all. I'm not in this for the fame. <clears throat> I'm in this for the love. I'm in this for the passion. I'm in, there for, I'm in this for this right here. You know how excited I was? Let me tell you something. It's a call for celebration. I did not even plan on doing another video today. But I said, this is so relevant. Let me explain something to you. For those that don't know, there's a guy right here from this town. A good friend of mine. He's one of the ones that gave me a kick in the butt to start my own hot sauce company. Goes by the name of Cousin Eddie. Cousin Eddie, um, he is a chili head. He makes barbecue sauce. Carolina hog sauce. It's not a regular barbecue sauce. It's my favorite sauce for pulled pork and always will be, hands down. But he started bringing some more heat. First, he made one with a little bit of reaper powder. Just to give it that little tingle, okay? Then, he started putting, like, chocolate habaneros. He made one with chocolate ghost peppers. And he went all the way to Dragon's Breath. I mean, Reapers and stuff. But um, uh, three different types of scorpion he has in one. So, he stepped outside, okay, of his little bubble here. And started putting more heat and stuff for the people that want that. And guess what? People loved it. People ate it up. He's still got his mild stuff. Then he's got his medium. He's got his hot. Then he's got his freaking stupid hot, right? And he got other um, product makers around the town to start making spicier products. And at first, they were scared. Okay. They were scared. They're like, oh, I don't want to. I don't know if anybody will buy it. And I don't know what it's going to do to them. You know, they might complain. And they had a lot of pushback because it is like that, unfortunately. But the thing is, they did it, right? They did it. There's one company that came out with a spicy product. It did so well. We all love it. And I'm not going to name that product or the other one right now, but. Uh, they were the first ones to do it. Cousin Eddie pushed them, right? And they did it, and it worked. Well, and this company over here copies them and does the same thing. You see what I'm saying? But they weren't going to do it on their own. They would have never done it until they seen somebody else do it. You see what I'm saying? So all you big producers out there, chip companies, whatever, if you don't start speaking to the people then the people are going to start buying products. There's someone else. I'm just letting you know somebody else is going to do it. Somebody else is going to put out a chip that's hot. Okay. 
right now with the one chip whole ordeal and everything, Paki got a bad rap and it's, they, they have not been able to um, really, their products have not been selling like they should. Uh, and their only thing they really have that's hot, you know, that's a snack, I'd, I'd say the, the haunted ghost pepper chips, right? So, um, but, and they're, they're, they're very, awesome. they're awesome and they're very hard to get. They're non-GMO corn, they're a great product, okay? They're very hard to get your hands on. The only place I can get them is from CVS. I thought they are organic corn. Um, I think they are. I don't know. All I know is they're non-GMO certified, uh, Paki. So their products are very, very well made. In case you don't well already know, organic means non-GMO and organic. And non-GMO is just non-GMO. Correct. So anyways, with that being said, guys, I just wanted to say how awesome this is. I got a nice burn going right now. Uh, I'm going to continue to snack on this right here. Maybe have a couple peppers in between. Flavor on this is excellent. There's not too much salt in it. Um, I think my blood pressure has been off the last couple days. And these chips have a good amount of salt. Now, these aren't as bad as uh, some of the other brands. The organic corn, a little bit less salt. <coughs> Ooh. But right now, I'm not feeling like my mouth is overly salty. So this, these two together, they're excellent. So, yeah. That's it. That's my message. My message is this. We're here. We want spicier foods. Okay? If you burn some Karen and they get upset, oh, well, it's their own fault. It says ghost pepper. It says reaper on it. Okay? Do not bow to them. All right? Don't bow to them. We're here and we it's want spicier stuff. It's not a liability stuff. either way. No. It's not a liability. Okay? No. No, no, no. But, uh... Uncle Bokow, this is Renfro's ghost pepper salsa. You freaking know what it is. Yeah.